Let's go, James. Let's see this. Um, Mikhail, first of all, your assessment on the game? Yeah, very disappointed. Uh, obviously, I'm responsible for that. We are out of the cup, and um, we wanted to play a very different game, and especially we wanted to compete in a game like this, where we discussed for 48 hours in a very different way to what we've done. Bringing on so many senior players, Zach Martinelli, Odegaard, when it looked like the game was over, was that to send a message to those that had been on the pitch? There's no messages to send. Whatever messages we send, we send them with words. We don't have to send them in a different way. We have tried to put a team that we believe it was um, the best to try to compete today in the right way to start the game. And, um, and yet yeah, the game took a direction, obviously, because of the first goal. And, uh, and we can discuss that. But after that, it's still, um, we have to see much more from the team to end the right to win in a place like here. Yes, in terms of looking back at your tenure at Arsenal, when was the last time you think you guys have played in a manner similar uh, to today? Sorry, sorry? When was the last time you've been that disappointed with the performance from the side? I don't know. First of all, it's a problem with myself because obviously I wanted the team to play in a very different way and we haven't managed to do that. And every time that you lose a game, um, the pain is there and, uh, and we have to use this pain for Saturday, that's for sure. There was a period in the first half in particular when Aaron was playing out from the back, he seemed to be getting a bit of grief from the home fans, but generally in those situations he decided to keep it on the floor and, and play short. Is that what you want to see more from him in those situations, particularly when the pressure is on? No, it's a situation where the club can react in the way they do, do. every player tries to do their best and that's it. And uh, just on Emil smith as well, obviously was, was out tonight, is there any prognosis on a, a time on a return for him and what is the, the nature of his injury? No, but he's got a, an injury in his knee and, and he's going to be out for weeks. James, yes, please. The first goal, an example of if they've been VAR, it gets ruled out. Really. Yeah, for sure. If there's VAR, there's no goal, that's for sure. I understand that for the referees it's difficult because of the angle and the, the amount of people is, is there. Obviously, it affects the game. But again, I don't want to use that as an excuse. Um, we can still compete the ball much better than, than we did and be in better positions. But... Um, but obviously that takes uh, something in the game that is very important, which is momentum. For the performance tonight, the players got to use this as a bit of a wake-up call for the competitions that you do care about. Uh, what it shows you is that in football, what it matters is the day. And what you did three days ago, it's irrelevant. What is going to happen tomorrow is going to be the most important thing. And again, we have to use this defeat, this pain, to prepare the best way to go to Newcastle and win. Jordan? Miguel, you said that the, the team struggled to compete tonight. Do you think without William and, and Declan, that's what the team lack? They lack that power and that physicality? Obviously, there are different players that bring something different to the table, but it's not about that. It's about all simple things that we didn't do well at all uh, today. And some of them were competing, some were duels, 50-50s, but a lot of giveaways that we have in areas that we didn't allow us in any moment be a threat in the final set. And that's something that we have to improve dramatically from today. OK, last couple. Firstly, Simon, from West Ham. Mikel, it's part of the frustration that some of these players don't always get many starts. And this is an opportunity to give you a headache ahead of the Newcastle game. Do you feel like you have to play this stuff? No, but as well, you have to be fair on the players. And some players haven't had that many minutes, you know, to ask them to do it straight away in the first game in a different context, run by players that they haven't started. It's not a fair assessment. Uh, but that's something that is further from the assessment. It's about doing certain things that have to be required to win a football match, especially when you play away from home against West Ham. And, and today we haven't done them well enough. And finally, we go to Gary. Declan, special night for him. There were mainly cheers, but some boos as well. Were, were you surprised? Were you disappointed? No, and it's not for me to, to judge that. Okay, guys, thank you. Yeah, thank you.